Hi everyone, this is Vivica Von Rosen and I wanted to show you the new LinkedIn messaging or some people are calling it the new LinkedIn chat feature. Not to be mistaken with the hashtag LinkedIn chat that we have every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. How did you do like that segue? All right, so um, I don't have the new chat feature yet, but my beautiful assistant does. So we're going to take a look at her profile and I'll show you what it's all about. So first of all you get to it like you always did by clicking on the little envelope which is not to say that this will be here next week but right now that's how you get there and you'll notice that all you have anymore is the messages. Now what's kind of cool about this is it's very instantaneous so first of all I can see the previous messages that I've actually sent to my assistant and I can write new ones here and I can even add uh, pictures or I can add um, files if I want to. So I'll just uh, do a little photo there. I don't even know what I picked up. Oh, my blab with Steve. Excellent. Now here this is kind of annoying. Um, I, I was sitting here hitting return, return, return and it was trying to give me another um, photo. So what you want to do or at least what I found that you need to do on the Apple on my Mac is uncheck press to send and then the new send button comes up. So that's a little bit of a pain in the rear end. Now you might think it hasn't sent yet but it has and you'll know that because you'll the, the person will actually get an email in their inbox but also you'll be able to scroll up and down so if you're not sure you can always just write another message and there it is so what will happen now is if I was actually on on my account and and Nicole was on her account we could text each other pretty much immediately now this is single texting this is not uh, this is not a group chat like say the LinkedIn chat unfortunately if you click on these three dots that's where some of that old information that's now hidden um, was like mark is unread mute the conversation forward the conversation report as spam or delete the conversation so if you get something that spam mail and you're just not interested in it um, you can either get rid of it just by clicking on the little X over here or here's my friend Khan hopefully we're safe with that uh, we can again delete report forward mute or mark as unread so if you were looking that's where that is now of course you can create a new chat here and you just start typing in the person's name and hopefully it will populate I'm a little concerned about my profile because I have too many connections so I'm hoping I can still send people messages now of course I can always go to someone's profile just by clicking on their name and still send them a message from there. So I'm feeling somewhat secure that there's always a workaround. But Vivico, where in the world did our invitations go? They are now here with the little guy with the plus sign. Don't click on that. If you click on that, it's just going to take you to the import connections uh, screen. You just want to hover over it. That's not at all difficult. And then click on invitations. And so it's basically the old people you may know or the relatively new but now old people you may know screen. What I would probably recommend as well is just take this and save it to a folder so you can find it easily. So you don't have to keep jumping around. So I just saved it to my LinkedIn folder so now I can really quickly get to my inbox without having to hover to, you know, I missed, I, I, I slid, I clicked on the wrong thing. So that's another thing that you might want to do is just save that link into your browser somewhere. Now once you've done that I can either just accept that invitation or get rid of the invitation. If I am not sure I want to connect with this person and this is hard to find we, we had a question about this on Blab today if you just hover over this little comment box come here come here yeah because this isn't at all annoying either and then very quickly jump down here and then hit this that brings you into messaging but you can hit reply so you can say hey Liliana I noticed that you wanted to connect I um, was wondering why so that allows you to message someone who's invited you to connect without actually having to connect with them I think that's incredibly confusing um, I find it annoying but they didn't ask me so that is where you find the invitations now again as far as sorting uh, invitations you've already sent um, haven't found that yet not quite sure I mean you can do a search 
for sure. And then you've got the drop down for all messages unread, in mail, and blocked. But the sent messages are not there. Let's just see if they're over here. I mean, logically, that's where I'd put them. And imported, sent. Okay, there we go. So our sent invitations, good, are now found under this search feature. <laughs> coming over to see all and then clicking on the drop down and into sent. So you can see uh, invitations that you sent and people who haven't responded yet. And then of course you can always cancel the requests. Actually that's a little bit easier. You can now cancel the requests right from that page. So that's kind of handy having it all in one place. Um, there was a question earlier today if you could accept all in one fell swoop. It looks like you can't do that anymore, at least from the browser. You used to be able to hit select all accept. Looks like we can't do that now. So that is a little bit longer than I wanted to go for a quick introduction to the new chat, but I thought you might be interested in that. This is Vivica Von Rosen, LinkedIn to Business, and hoping you are having a fabulous day.